we have of our friends who are not this time. So, since I am ready, and since all of you are ready too, so it's time for us to learn. Okay. Okay, we'll do like this. Bang. So if you have any questions, just raise your hand and then I will recognize you if you will raise your hand. Okay, let's proceed. So welcome everybody. Welcome everyone to our virtual class for today. Okay, I, I always say virtual because we just meet online. <laughs> we just meet online and we will not meet each other using what? Uh, Munich is eating. And I like that one. Barbecue. Right. So what are the main parts of plant of a plant? Actually, plants has many different parts. So we will be learning today what are the main parts of a plant and their functions. Let's, let's do it. Wait, someone is talking. Right. So Want you to proceed on this one carefully to the teacher. Some of you are not. I think. What's this? All right. So you, I want you to listen carefully. And the second one is that raise your hand if you want to talk. Okay, if you want to talk, just to raise your hand, raise your right hand. Let me make sure I want to talk. Just click the reaction there down, down. Click the reaction because I can recognize you here. I can see you. Who is that person raising his hand or her hand? So next, number three, turn off your microphone right after you speak. Right, right after you speak, you have to turn off your microphone. So here, there we go. I want you to watch again the recording. All right, so the plant mentions, or the video mentions that there are different parts of a plant. So here, of a plant, I mean. So the video says, the plant has roots or roots. And a plant has stem, we have here the arrow, and we have also leaf, and we have fruit with its color red, I think red, right? Red or orange, something like that. And also we have here the flower. So these are the parts of a plant. According here also, plants are made up of different parts. Okay, plants are made up of different parts. So as you can see, again, what is number one? I want you to answer this one. Who will answer number one? Raise your hand, please. Go to the reaction, and then I will recognize you. What is number one here? Ellen, please. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ellen, yes, Ellen. Flowers. Uh, Monique says flowers, number one, flowers, correct. Yes, number two, Ellen, yes. Oh, yes sorry, sorry. Number two, Ellen, yes. A fruit. Fruit, yes, you're correct. Number three, we have, um, yeah, we have panachakwan, panacha yes. Yes. Leaf. Leaf, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Your answer is correct. What about here? Chanedep. Chanedepa. Yes. Chanedepa. Yes. What is that? Stem. Stem. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, you're correct. Your answer is correct. What about? What is this? What is the name of this man? Tin, yes, tin, tin. Number five, tin. Who's that, who's that? Close your microphone, please. How about tin, yes. Tin, 
Where are you? I'm the teacher of names of the journey of sad. What is that, please? <laughs> Turn off your microphone, please. <laughs> I cannot see you now. I cannot see you now. Can, can you call see you? Oh, who's that? Who's that talking? Who's that? Okay, because Tin is not there. I will ask Maya. Maya the B. Maya the B. Yes. Maya, yes, Maya. What is your answer for number five? Don't go with me. What is that, please? Okay. Good. Rude. Very good. So, Ruth is... Thank okay, you. Wait. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wait, how to do it? Because some of you are talking. Yeah, <laughs> I can I cannot see it. Some of you are talking here. All right, so here, another way. Okay, the parts of a plant is here. We have flowers, we have fruit, we have leaf, we have stem, and we have the root, of course. We have five things that we have studied already. Now let's proceed. Plants have roots, a stem, and leaves. Many plants have flowers and fruits too. Why is it says here only many, not all? Because some plants around us doesn't produce what doesn't produce flowers. Of course, if they don't have flowers, they don't have fruits too. So here, many plants have flowers, and of course, that flowers will turn into fruits. Correct. Right. So look at this, the process of the roots. We will be talking about the function of the roots. And I want you to pay attention. I want you to put in your mind, because later on, I will be asking questions to you. We will be having a game. We will be having a review about the topic, about the things that we studied this time. So roots. Yeah, that's the roots. And what is the function? Roots of a plant hold the plant in the soil. So what is the function? The roots hold the plants in the soil. Okay, so that the plant will not... Um, fell down on the ground, there is something that holds the ground. And also, the roots take the water for the plant, okay? The roots take the water for the plant to take in. So as you can see, roots is what very important for the plants. And a plant like hair, I, I mean, a plant has, has hair like roots that help the plants to what? To get water. Help the plants to make, or to, to get more water down in the soil. I'm sorry because I wrote the same. So I will edit this one later on. So the plants, the, 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 the what, what is that? The hair like roots. As you can see, it's look like our hair. These roots that I put circle. Okay, this video is showing to you about the roots, which is what? The, the root hairs are the one who take water and nutrients from the ground. So that's the important of the roots there. So let's continue. Sorry. No. Let's proceed to the stem. So what is the, the function of the stem in the plants? As we can see, as what I have told you a while ago, that roots is the one who holds the plants in the soil and the one who get the water from the ground and also get minerals from the soil. All right, so here, another one is the stem. 
as you can see that the stem is standing upright. Okay, the stem holds the plant upright. What do you mean by upright? Upright means like this. Can you please stand upright? You stand like this. That means upright. The plant stands upright because of the stem. So as you can see, look at this one, the process of the stem. The plant's root, okay, the plant roots is the one, are the one who what? The one who absorb waters from the ground. But what is the function of the stem? Remember, if the roots, the one absorb water or get water from the ground, the stem is the one who carry. You know what is carry? Carry or transport. You know what is transport? You ride a, like, if you will say transportation, that means you will transport, transport from one place to another. From the word transport, that means from the roots going up to the other parts of the plants. So that is transportation of flowers, I mean transportation of water and nutrients to the other parts of the plants. Carry, right? Carries water from the roots to the other parts of the plants. This is what I have told you. So, so remember kids, that the stem is the one who makes the, the, the plant stand upright and also carry water from the roots to the other plant parts of the plants. That's the function. So I know that science is not easy thing. There are lots of terminologies which is which are very hard for you to understand. But I am trying to tell you in the very in the easiest in the so we say in the easiest way for you to understand what I'm going to say about this certain topic. So another thing here. Branches may grow from the main stem of the plant. Okay, as we can see here, the stem is there, down here, and then th that stem will produce several branches. Branches, what do you mean by branches? Branches is like that, no? This one in the arrow. And that branches hold the leaves out so that they receive sunlight. Okay, that's the, the importance of the branches, not only stem. From the stem, the stem will make branches. Or from the stem, the branches will grow. And then from the branches, the stems will, I, I mean, the, the leaves will start to grow in the branches in order that the plant's leaves can get or receive enough sunlight okay okay with is that roots the one who anchor the soil so that the plant will not fell down and the thing the second one the, the second function the roots absorb or get water from the ground and then the stem we have the stem here the function is what to make the plant stand upright and the, the second one carry the water from the ground so i uh, from the from the roots so that's the function so this one is we try to look at the function of the stem okay. according to him that aside from the roots the stem's function also to hold the plant stand upright See, and also it helps the plants to carry water and other minerals to the other parts of the plant. So what I'm saying is correct, the same with this guy. Another one here, the one, so let's proceed to leaves and then we will be having a break later on. So leaves, now what is the function of the leaves? So remember, 
is what I have told you a while ago, that you have to listen carefully and think of it and retain this in your mind, the functions of this, um, of each part of the plant. So leaves, leaves make food for the plant, okay? What are you doing, Monich? <laughs> it's doing like this. So leaves are the one who make food for the plant, okay? For the plants. Remember, not the roots, not the stem, not the root hair, not the branches, not the flowers, not the fruits, not the seeds, but the one who make food for the plants are leaves, leaves, okay? Leaves are the one who make food. So here are some examples of leaves. We have papaya leaf. I think some of you haven't seen this yet in your life. So this is what the picture of a papaya leaf. And we have your water lily leaf. Don't worry, uh, 10 minutes from now, then we'll be having a break. So you can go to the toilet. You can, yeah, five minutes on. So we have here the frangipani leaf. And we have hibiscus leaf. And those are the, the leaves that I mentioned. So I know that some of you seen it already and some of you never seen in their entire life, <laughs> right? Most leaves are green, okay, remember? Most leaves are green and have a big flat, flat, flat surfaces. Okay, remember that most leaves have a big, and flat surfaces. Remember that one, heat. This help the plants to better receive sunlight. So that's the function. That's the importance of the leaves. Why is it big and flat? Because it what can help them to receive sunlight better. Okay, sunlight is important for the leaves to make food for the plants. So look at that. The plants, I think, cannot make food if, I think they can still make food, but not that much if there is no, without, I mean, without the presence of sunlight. So as you can see here, look at the process. This one is so hard for you to understand. The reason that you're still in grade one. So food, is carried from the leaves to different parts of the plant by the stem. Okay, the stem is the number one that it really helps the plants to carry it to them. So what's this video again? And other mediums like carbon dioxide, water, then the plants can make its own food. So this time we'll be talking about flowers. So I know that some of you likes to like 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 flowers. Do you like flowers? So some of you like flowers. So here, flowers help the plants make young and reproducing new plants. So the plants here, as you can see, it helps to make young. What do you mean by young? To make new plants. In other words, it reproducing new plants. So there are different sizes, according to the video a while ago, there are different sizes, shapes, and colors of flowers. And aside from that, they usually the most attractive part of the plant. So people can say, ah, oh, the, the flower of this plant is so beautiful. And also the bees, the bees usually attract to the, the flowers. So example of flowers we have, Water lily flower, racha fruit flower, frangipani flower, heliconea flower, orchid flower. Some of you are sleeping now. All right, so we have hibiscus flower. And now let's proceed to fruit. We're almost there. I know some of you likes to eat fruit. Now, what's the function of the fruit? We have a flower can grow into a fruit. And the fruit has to 
hold and protect the seeds. Remember, a fruit is the one who holds and protects the seeds. Okay, we have here the fruits, the seeds, the flesh, and the skin. We have here the seeds. The seeds is what? What is the function? Seeds can grow into new plants. Seeds can grow into new plants. Remember and put this in your mind. Seeds can grow into new plants. So now let's have a break for five minutes. You can go to the toilet if you want. And then let's go back later on because some of you are sleeping. <laughs> some of you are sleeping already. 